very much because for one month more time this night he has gathered us all in his arms full of love full of power he helped us to overcome all the obstacles from our jobs from uh, other cares that we might have and he made grace and he gathered us here to speak to us because we want God to speak to us we don't want and we're not waiting to listen human knowledges and philosophies and we hope in the Lord because we have understood brethren we have all understood and this is that every day guides our steps in this place we have understood that these words that come from heaven that are different from the other words that we listen daily and we have heard in our life because they bring fruit and they bring fruit because for the glory of God the Father they have a fruit an eternal fruit and we hope and we all want with this fruit that God gives in our hearts through his word being one beloved being brothers and sisters since God has made us brothers and sisters when he shed his blood on the cross of Golgotha and he washed our sins Jesus Christ our Lord we want to see him again face to face we want to enjoy him eternally brethren in heaven and we believe this we are waiting for this and we want our life that passes by to be established on this we want our life to be edified on this we thank the Lord very much let us open our Bibles the book of Genesis so that we may see here some brothers how what choices did they make in their life we will read from chapter 4 from the beginning now Adam knew Eve his wife and she conceived and bore Cain and said I have acquired a man from the Lord then she bore again this time his brother Abel now Abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground and in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought an offering to the fruit of the ground of the fruit of the ground to the Lord Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat and the Lord respected Abel and his offering but he did not respect Cain and his offering and Cain was very angry and his countenance fell so the Lord said to Cain why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen if you do well will you not be accepted and if you do not do well sin lies at the door and its desire is for you but you should rule over it now Cain talked with Abel his brother and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him Amen May the Lord bless his words and edify his church this night. Jesus Christ has called us. He, God the Father, drew us near to him. He has sent his word into our hearts. He has showed to us Jesus Christ, resurrected, active. He has regenerated us from his word. He has given us a, car, uh, a soft heart he has filled our life with promises he assured us that we will win since we'll be close to him we thank God very much because each one of us is a true and live testimony and has many things to say what God has done into his life I, in my turn, the last year, I had 
this great blessing from the Lord to show me my wife. God, with a very beautiful way, answered my prayers. He showed me my wife. And she, after after other choices that she had, she found grace, we believe, and we see that God let her and assured her that I am her husband. And since the last Ju July, I live this life of husband and wife. I'm grateful to God for this because I know that through this new new situation in my life, God is working very beautiful things. And I would like to share some things that fit with this passage that we just read. When we got married with Lydia, and the first day started to pass, I observed in myself that I wanted to help this house that we began to work very well, everything to be in order. And because I had more experience humanly, because I had a house on my own before I came to know Christ, I've lived by myself for many years. Nevertheless, I started to manage things I started to show to Lydia some things that perhaps uh, it would be better this if we do it this way with a lot of respect or um, that's what at least I understood but brethren when I used to come back from work I saw that things weren't as I thought they should be and there was an indignation and my heart and my heart used to come I realized that my wife couldn't cooperate with me and in the small things that I wanted of the daily life so that we could according to my opinion to walk better in this house So my my conduct started to be more oppressing. Uh, since we said that this is better, why don't you follow this, this and that? And things started to become heavy at home. My heart had bitterness and Lydia was sorrowed. And I saw that that with my logic things were were done correctly, but the fruit that came from this it wasn't good. And I couldn't understand what was happening. How can this happen when two people of God who have love and have this energy this energy that brought them together these two people that didn't know uh, themselves before that God with his wisdom brought and make them family how is this possible uh, that this problem came up and I said to God oh God that's how I'm gonna live that's how the life of the husband what is happening now Truly, brethren, I went to the Lord with great fear, by seeing and understanding that I'm doing something wrong, that is not someone else that is in fault. And so I went before the Lord with this, having this knowledge, and I said, Lord, show me what am I doing wrong? Why can I not enjoy 
things in my life while I'm running all day at work and I have a heavy schedule. Why, Lord, I can't have joy in my home? Which you gave me. You opened this house. You made it with a wonderful way. With There were so many dead ends, oh God, uh, help us to overcome. And the presence of God came. And she showed me and told me that, my child, why don't you do the things that I'm teaching you? Why don't you do the things that I, your Heavenly Father, have shown you from my word? And you go with your own wisdom and with your own knowledge to build. Don't you know and haven't you experienced in your life that when you build with your own th things, your building will be ruined and you won't have fruit? But now come to build up through love. Come now to build up through my word. Come now and go closer to this soul that is in pain and love her as Christ has loved you. And not permit to these thoughts that are not for me to come in you and lead you how to act and do things. The Lord told me, learn in your life. To understand the voices that you hear within you. Learn to be clothed with Jesus Christ. Learn in your life to love and to act through love. But my Lord, how will I love? Don't, do I not love my wife? No, you don't love your wife. Because you don't humble yourself before her. And you become proud. And when you are proud, you have no portion with the love that is God. Because you become proud. But when you are humble, when you humble yourself, then you have love. Because then God comes and dwells within you richly. And brethren, we all know and we have experienced that when our heart is uh, broken and when we humble ourselves before God and man we know this and we experience this because the word of God is alive the word of God is not a philosophy but is a way that God is asking from us to live it and truly I said Lord help me because I'm a mere man I'm a man that I haven't understood Help me, Lord. And you make us happy because I cannot make my wife happy. I cannot make my wife happy, Lord. And my Lord, my God, show me so that I, I won't be like Cain. Because here we see Cain, that his offering wasn't pleasing before God. And Cain became indignant. And we saw here that though the offering might be before a God, the offering it could be also to our brothers and sisters and to the church and to the family also. Be clothed to Jesus Christ, cries out the Holy Spirit. Learn to understand the, the thoughts that enter into your thoughts and into your mind. Learn to discriminate and throw to garbage everything that is not from God. Sanctify your spirit. Make your spirit to be like our Lord, uh, like the spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. And many times when we go into the sea and we are not careful when we step into the sea that has thorns and there are thorns then we are in pain but we have to be careful 
we have to preserve our spirit so that as the thorns that we must step on this thought must cause hurt that comes because of our pride because of our judgment or condemnation as our body is in pain when something um, some thing comes to enter through the violence so we should ask so that our spirit will hurt when tr when something comes out of it to enter that is away from the spirit of Christ because otherwise we won't be able to bring fruition with our wisdom with our human wisdom and our righteousness and we have to throw away our righteousness we have to condemn it brethren and we should condemn it every moment that it comes up from our heart and comes out from our mouth because we defile I defiled my house by thinking that I did the right thing <coughs> by thinking that I had this wisdom to manage the practical things at home um, because I thought I was more experienced but this was wrong and we thank God for these things that he permits in our life because the Lord is alive God knows how to speak to us and lead us God knows how to deliver us and he knows how to show us the truth that what we are trying to do Nico in your home this is not from me because this doesn't bring fruit it doesn't have love it doesn't bring peace it doesn't have joy and brethren brethren in our home we want the Lord to dwell we want the Lord to build up richly our home we want the Lord with his grace and with his mercy with his wisdom to be ruled by him and to make it light because in this city that the Lord has put us to live many people live in hell we live in blocks and we all listen what is happening around us and without one of this we don't want to listen but we have all experienced this the fights the quarrels and homes the devil is dancing and the demons are jumping we thank God very much because we have found grace before God we weren't worthy of it we weren't something special but sinners and still though God has shown himself to us we still fall and sin but it's not um, the Lord said repent because the kingdom of God has come these words are not by luck because the most important that we have is the spirit of repentance and prayer is the most important thing that our Heavenly Father has given to us so that we may be able to humble ourselves and draw closer to Him. And we have all experienced the power that our Holy Spirit comes and fills us when we are broken and repentance. Because we are all taught by the Holy Spirit, brethren. We have the Word of God that guides us and teaches us, but we also have the Holy Spirit that we experience and we live. And these two come and witness the one to the other and who can take this faith of ours that God has given us with his grace and mercy and the world out says that I'm left in the grace in the mercy of God and we say that we are left in the grace in the mercy of God and we are rich brethren what we have to look to and to seek and to examine is if we are in the grace of the Holy Spirit and the grace of Christ this is what we have to examine <clears throat> to examine our conscience lest our heart be hardened and we can repent blessed are those who mourn says the Holy Spirit says our Lord why does he say this 
because in repentance and in mourning the grace of God comes and humility the grace of God comes because brethren we have to understand and to adapt even more while the time is getting harder we have to experience the presence of God daily at any moment and in order to do this we have to cleanse our life as we cleanse ourselves as we cleanse our body and we give it to the Lord clean from sin in the same way we should do in our spirit and for our soul we have to cleanse it we have to ask grace from God to show us what we keep in our hearts this should be our prayer what does our heart keep in we should be sanctified and be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ with the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and his prudence so that we may be able to walk free brethren so that we may be able to bow on our knees and to, ha to receive guidance from the Lord we thank God very much because we are know we know and we have experienced that God um, knows that God can and he will do it when we'll go close to him we're not in a philosophy but this is in our life the gospel is our life brethren we have to mourn it's not possible for a child of God to accept today his weaknesses his weaknesses even his sins and to say that's okay I'm a mere man we have to sanctify ourselves to be cleansed in our spirit to throw away every condemnation to love so that the love of God may come and to have fruit if the Lord doesn't come to fill us with his presence if we, we won't be able to be clothed with Jesus Christ and to love our brothers and sisters how we will bring fruit how will we receive this wisdom that we need in order to do his work because the ministers of the Lord held the labor of the day and they worked in difficult periods they were persecuted our brothers and sisters were persecuted but today that the devil has entered everywhere and the soul of people in the world is terrified and the houses that I work when I hear the news always I hear murders brethren now is the time to take out the sword of the Holy Spirit and to cut this fruit this is a period of fruition from now on the man is asking for the truth the man has nowhere else to stand with thank God because God is working and he brings people to this situation so that the heart of man may be able to listen the words of the gospel how we will go to them with a spirit of might to the people who are in pain how will we speak to them to those that are troubled that are in dead ends and they see walls before them and uh, we are nothing brethren we will go to them and serve them and minister to them and strengthen them with humility so that the Lord may be with us brethren may the Lord bless us and have mercy on us